hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for your love for everything thank you for your comments thank you if you are new you are welcome so i'm taking you through a series the possible mistake people do as an upcoming makeup artist and today we are talking about appreciation many people don't know how to appreciate people because it's not their fault because it can be upbringing it can be maybe the place you grew up you know there are just possible reasons why people don't appreciate they don't even know that what they are doing is wrong so we are not here to judge anybody we are just trying to enlighten you open your eyes to so many things that maybe you are possibly doing wrong do you understand so this post is not to mock anybody this is just for you as a wise person to learn from it and it's actually not for everybody because when someone makes a post about something that particular post might not bless you but it will bless someone else so i believe that whatever god has laid in my heart to do today is for somebody out there and i pray that it will get to the person so we are talking about showing appreciation as an upcoming makeup artist there are some things that nobody taught me that that i learned myself and i wish somebody spoke to me learn to show appreciation as a makeup artist one of the gateways to your progress and prosperity is thanksgiving you don't always have to agree with everyone but silence and thanksgiving to god goes a long way i understand that clients can get on our nerves especially as an upcoming makeup artist they will completely drain your blood over a job sometimes they will bring someone else's job a top makeup artist that charges over 100,000 to show you you that they are paying peanuts for handle the situation with god's wisdom tell them i really appreciate you for booking me ma but please this is not my signature and sometimes what we see on the internet is mostly edited however ma i can only do my best i can't give you the exact thing but i will do my best to make sure you look good you speak to your clients in a calm and polite manner with a smiling face by doing so you are saving yourself from a serious embarrassment while you are doing the makeup, you can interact with your client. That's how you calm yourself down and do a good job. You know some people are really tense when they see a client. So you try to interact with them. All those interactions is just to make yourself calm down. So you can be able to... Because if you're not calm, you won't be able to do a good job. All your hands are shaking. So you ask them questions like, What do you love about my job? Because somebody must love something about your job before they book you. Then you ask them, Are you a makeup person? Do you have an oily skin? Do you sweat a lot? Is it an outdoor event? What are you wearing? What kind of hair are you wearing? Interact. Don't go there and start asking questions that does not concern you. Asking clients questions about their personal life is wrong. Don't go there and start eating. No. Even if you are hungry, pretend as if you are fine. Even when they insist, take it away. If it's a party pack, don't sit there. And eat anything you see. Carry your bag and go when you are done. Don't start doing house care for your clients. It is good to be nice, but you need to understand business is business and draw your line. You can help to zip their clothes or tie their corsets, but don't run errands for them. See finish will enter, and if you come again next time, they will still send you to do another thing. The day you refuse, you become a bad person. Don't start what you cannot finish. Always appreciate your clients after any session. Out of millions of makeup artists in your area, they came to you. God brought them to you. You appreciate God for his kindness towards you and appreciate your client too. Oh, thank you, ma, for patronizing me. Your outfit is so lovely. I love your skin, ma. Are you sure you live in Nigeria like this? Because your skin is so beautiful. Your nails are so beautiful, ma. Your hair is so beautiful. You are so beautiful, ma. Your outfit fits so well, ma. Hype your client too. I mean it from your heart. Don't fake it. People, especially women, love praises. Even our Heavenly Father loves praises, not to talk of humans. When you adore your clients, even if you do a bad job, they will likely book you again and tell you, the last makeup you did was not too fantastic, but I just have to book you again. You see? They can't even tell why they are booking you again. But I'm telling you now, adore them all the time. Don't go there and, and keep a straight face like they took your biscuits. And when they are having conversations with their friends or family, don't put your mouth though. 
Even if they want to carry you along, focus. Act like you are so into the makeup you are doing. Another point is appreciating your students. Your student is your client. Some of you send your students on an errand. Please stop it. Anyone that paid you for something is your client and should be treated like one. It's not easy for someone to trust your work to the point of paying you to learn what you know. See that as a privilege and appreciate them. Don't be too proud to your students. I see some of you will raise your shoulder pad as if someone annoyed you. To be nice is simple. Stop stressing yourself trying to act like a boss. Don't act or fake what you already are. You are the boss and no one can take that from you. You don't have to be rude to prove a point. The Bible says God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So, rounding up, try and live a life of thanksgiving. Even when it looks like everything is falling apart, just give thanks. The best way to win any battle is to give thanks. Thanksgiving moves God. Even as a human, there is how someone would they say someone will appreciate your little efforts and you will do more next time because you know that this person appreciates you. Now, how much more the God that created you? When you give thanks to God, you are indirectly telling him, Lord, I know you are able, so I give you thanks because I know for sure that you have done it already. Learn to appreciate people as an upcoming makeup artist. Learn to appreciate your clients, both big and small. Don't appreciate only the celebrities. As a matter of fact, celebrities don't pay like regular people. A celebrity says it's a big deal to even tag you. They will waste your time from morning till night and you will still walk out with your normal price after wasting your time. But if it's your regular client, I know that you will scatter the whole place. <laughs> so value your clients and don't rate anyone over anybody. Remember, nobody knows tomorrow. So this is the way you can maintain a cordial relationship with your clients. Appreciate everyone in your life. Appreciate God for the little things and watch him open more doors. Learn to pay your tithe. I understand that your income is not much yet. This is the best time to give your tithe. The Bible in Malachi threatened, bring ye all the tithes to the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now says the Lord of the host, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be enough room to receive it. The Lord is saying, prove me now. But you know what? We trust men more than we trust God. So you will think you are giving to your pastor when you pay your tithe. Drop it at the altar and go home. Whatever it was used for is no longer your business. You have obeyed God's word and let his will be done. When you give, you water. You water by thanksgiving. Anyone who obeys God goes far. Even when it looks as if it's not working, just hang on. Have this assurance that God is too big to lie. Don't get me wrong. God still blesses whether you pay your tithe or not. His grace is sufficient. But what is 10% compared to what God has done in your life? You cannot outgive God. He is all-sufficient God. Paying tithes is just like traveling with a driver's license. But without a driver's license, you will likely still get your location. But you will be too careful because if officers catch you, you will pay fine or they seize your car. But with license, you are moving with boldness because you know you are not breaking any law. Because you know, according to Malachi 3.11, that he will rebuke the devourer for my sake. So, I am unstoppable. No matter what I see, I must get to my location. Hallelujah. So, I want to encourage you to try and appreciate everything in your life. The situation you are right now, appreciate God for it. Appreciate God for every little thing and see him open doors for you. Maybe things are still the way they are because you have not been appreciating God. But the moment you start appreciating God, you will see doors will begin to open for you. So I pray may the good Lord bless your business, uplift you and take you to nations in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye.